up, y'all? It's your girl Jordan from MyMelaninProject.com, where we conquer all things fashion, beauty, and life. And today, we're doing a vlog. <laughs> y'all today i'm gonna be giving y'all a vlog style video um, i'm gonna be vlogging my quarantine and self-care routine um as y'all know we in quarantine or whatever so everything has been closed i'm gonna be doing my morning skincare routine i'm gonna be showing y'all how i do my eyebrows at home because girl do they need to be done and lastly i'm gonna show y'all how i do my nails at home um today is may 15th and actually in virginia some of the nail salons hair salons and things are opening but for me me personally, I'm not gonna go outside yet. I'm just gonna wait a little bit, see how it go, you know, give a little test run, and then maybe I'll go outside in a couple of weeks. But as for me right now, I'm not gonna go to any hair salon, beauty salons, things like that. So first up is our morning skincare routine. Hey y'all, I'm about to start my skincare routine, morning skincare routine. But before I start, I want to shout out my girl Lauren. Her Instagram is stitched by Lou. I'm gonna put her link in the description box, but basically. She makes handmade satin bonnets. These are so bomb. And she made this um, edge wrap too. And it's reversible just like the bonnet. And I ordered this from her and she sent it to me. And honestly, y'all, this quality is so bomb. Like, first of all, it's silk on the outside and the inside. It's so thick, stretchy. This is just bomb. I can't, right now, I don't wear a bonnet, of course. But I do wear this when I'm doing my skincare routine and stuff or doing my makeup. But this is bomb. Go purchase one. Support a small business. So the first product I'm going to be using today is the Ole Hamrickson Find Your Balance Oil Controlling Cleanser. This cleanser is great for oily skin and it exfoliates. But I have the matching toner to this cleanser as well. But sometimes when you do like an exfoliating cleanser on top of an exfoliating toner, it can be too much exfoliation. And I don't have any toners right now that are not exfoliating, so I'm skipping toner today. And then I'm just going to hydrate using my Hyaluronic Acid Serum from The Ordinary. Y'all know I use that all the time. And also my Neutrogena Hydra Boost. Y'all know about this. So let's get into it. I'm going to roll up my sleeves and get into this skincare. I just finished my skincare routine. I'm feeling good, feeling refreshed. A great start to my morning. Just kidding. So next um, in my quarantine self-care is going to be doing my eyebrows. Actually, I have been doing my eyebrows at home since high school, before quarantine, before anything ever happened. Um, because they're just so thick and they just grow back so fast. I just had to learn how to do them myself in between, you know, getting them waxed. Or if I couldn't make it to the nail salon to get them waxed, I would just do them myself. So that's what I'm going to show y'all how to do your eyebrows at home next. I personally think I do a great job at doing my own eyebrows. So we're going to see. First thing you're going to need is a pair of small eyebrow scissors. The second thing you're going to need is a spoolie. Um, you can get this anywhere. It's the same brush that's on the end of, you know, like an eyebrow pencil or the same brush they give you when you get eyelash extensions. Next, you're going to need a good pair of tweezers. And lastly, an electric eyebrow trimmer. You can use the manual ones, but I prefer to use the electric. Now, what I'm doing is just brushing my hairs and um, putting them in the direction that I want them to go. And next, what I'm going to do is turn my spoolie upside down and start brushing my eyebrows against the grain. So I'm going backwards and I'm brushing my eyebrows in the opposite direction of the way they grow. And doing this is gonna cause those eyebrow hairs that are too long to start sticking up and it'll make them easier to get rid of. 
So like I said, I'm just brushing my eyebrows against the grain to expose those long eyebrow hairs that need to be cut off. Next, I'm going to start with my eyebrow scissors and start trimming straight across the shape of my eyebrows and getting rid of those long hairs that we just exposed and brushed up. So those long hairs that we just um, brushed up, I'm going to take my eyebrow scissors and start cutting straight across to get rid of them. I'm going very slow, I'm taking my time, and I'm going in a straight line. It's very simple. Next, I'm going to take my eyebrow trimmer and clean up the space in between my eyebrows. And then I'm going to turn it to the side so I can have a straight line at the beginning of my eyebrow. And now I'm taking it and I'm bringing it really close to my eyebrow, but not directly touching it. And I'm getting rid of all of those small hairs that grow around our eyebrows that need to be taken care of. So I'm getting really close to the brow, but I'm not touching it. And this is what I'm working with so far without doing anything to the bottom of the brow. Next, I'm going to pull my eyebrows nice and taut and take some tweezers and start cleaning up the bottom of the brow. You can clean up the bottom of your brows with the razor, but I like to use tweezers because it gives me more control. And I'm using those angled tweezers to get rid of all those pesky hairs at the bottom of the brow. And this is, at this part, this is where I like to take my time because I think if you mess up the bottom, you can really mess up the shape of your brow. So you want to take your time at the bottom of the brow. I'm still tweezing and getting rid of those hairs. They're really small, so it can take some time. And next, I'm taking my eyebrow trimmer again and just cleaning up around the brow close to where my hair grows and those hairs that kind of are sparse and they stick out. And this is what one brow looks like when I'm done. And this is how it compares to the brow without anything done to it. And this is how both of my brows look when I'm finished. All right, y'all, I'm back. My eyebrows are finished. I think I did a great job. I kept them thick. Like I said, I was gonna start doing in my last video, my Fenty Beauty tutorial. Um, I said I wanted to start keeping my eyebrows pretty thick, so that's what I'm doing. I just keep them thick, shape them up, clean them up. Y'all know. So next, the last thing I'm going to do for my self-care quarantine style is put on some press-ons. I haven't worn press-ons in a minute just because I've been in the house or whatever, but it's time for me to do some. The nails I'm going to be using today are from The Nailist. Um, the Nailist is actually the first press-on company that I ever used. Um, this is the one that Jackie Ina uses, so that's how I got put onto them from Jackie Ina. I love the nail list because they have like two sorts of nails on their website. They have nails that you know you can custom order and that you put in a size for, and then they have ready to ship nails. These are the ready to ship nails. So as you saw, there were 24 nails in the box, and there's like a nail for each size. So no matter what size nails you need you can buy this box and it's already done you don't have to measure anything like that and the ready to ship nails are always cheaper than the custom nails of course so i'm going to show you guys how i do my press ones to get them to last a long time so the first thing you want to do is go through your nails and pick out the sizes that best fit your nails in the box, you're going to get a couple things. The first bag is going to include a nail file, a buffer, a cuticle stick, and an alcohol pad. The second bag will include some nail glue and some nail adhesive tabs. And lastly, you're going to get a card with directions on how to apply. So first, we're going to buff our nails to get rid of any shine 
um, this is the block that came with the bag this is also the time where you would cut your nails or file your nails if you need to um, my nail my natural nails are probably the longest they can be without being cut um, while wearing press-ons so I didn't cut them but if they were any longer they would need to be cut and trimmed down Next, we're gonna take that alcohol pad and wipe off our nails. This is gonna get rid of that dust from buffing them. And it's also gonna get rid of any oil that we have on our nails and hands. And um, buffing and using the alcohol pad just makes your nails stick better. So as far as glue, I love the professional glue that most nail companies send with their nails but i do not like the tube that it comes in it comes in one of those tubes where you have to squeeze it out and it's just hard to control and sometimes too much glue comes out so what i like to do is put a couple drops on a piece of paper and then use a brush to apply the nail glue to my nails today i'm going to be using the brush that actually comes with this kiss nail glue the bottle is empty but i'm just going to use the brush but you can use any small brush that you have at home to apply the nail glue so next, we're going to start applying our nails and first we need to push back our cuticles using that cuticle stick. This is very, very important. Um, this makes sure that your nail goes on really snug and it helps prevent lifting because if you put on that press on and you put the press on on top of your skin, it's going to lift up the same way an acrylic nail does. So like I said, I'm dipping my brush into that nail glue and I'm going to apply just a light layer. And using the brush gives me so much control. I hate using that tube. The tube, too much glue comes out and the glue gets everywhere. But the brush makes it so easy. After applying one layer, I like to let it dry down for a little bit and then apply a second layer. I actually got this method from the same way people use to do frontals. Um, the same way people use glue to put on frontals, I do the same thing. It makes the glue tacky and lasts longer. After applying that glue, I go ahead and grab my nail and put it on and I hold my nail down for 30 seconds. Um, when you put on the nail, you just wanna make sure it fits good. You wanna make sure that you're not on any skin and you just wanna make sure you hold it down. Doing those things will make sure that you don't get any lifting and that your nails stay on as long as possible. So I have my pinky nail on and I'm going to go ahead and repeat this process one more time. Um, again, I'm taking that cuticle pusher and pushing my nails all and pushing my cuticles all the way back. Then I'm going to take a light layer of glue. And when you put the glue on the piece of paper, um, just put a couple drops because you don't want it to dry up and waste. And after I have my two layers, I'm going to take my nail and apply it. And when I apply my nails, I like to put the bottom down first because that's where any lifting is going to occur. So put the bottom of the nail in first, then, you know, press it down and the top will follow. Hold it down for 30 seconds. So now that I have two nails on, I'm just going to speed through the rest of this hand. It's a pretty easy, pretty self-explanatory. If you follow this method, this is the method that I use. And usually I can get my press ones to last at least 10 days, if not a full two weeks. Um, it's really just about making sure that you're using the right size nail and making sure that you apply it right so you have no lifting. Um, when you're fitting your nails and you find that, you know, one nail size is too small and one is too big, just take a um, regular handheld file and file down the bottom and the sides and it should fit. That's what I do when I have um, a nail that's a little bit too big. But if your nail is too big, you don't want to use it because it's just going to pop off easily. So you always want to make sure that you have nails that fit. And also I do have a $10 off refer a friend um, code for the nail list this is not sponsored or anything like that i don't get commission from the code but when you use it the code i get ten dollars off my next order so i'm going to put it down in the description box and this is what my nails look like when they are complete what's up y'all so i just finished my nails this is how they came out i hope you guys like today's video i'm going to leave all the products and everything that i used in the description box below 
If you like this video, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. See y'all in the next one.